took game one at home last night. The Mavs had no answer for Phoenix. Yes, Luka dropped 45, but the rest of the Mavs starters combined for only 39. After the game, Jason Kidd said, we've just got to get someone to join the party. Shannon, last week you were leaning towards the Suns in seven heading into this series. Yeah. From what you saw from last night's sample size, how far do you think this one's going to go? I still believe it's going to go seven. I mean, all the Suns did was whole serve at home. Skip Luka's legit. He tied Michael Jordan for the highest scoring average in playoff history. Skip, he's averaging 33, nine and nine. And he's doing, he, he's done it against arguably three of the best defenders that we have. PG, Kawhi, uh, Mikael Bridges, and he had Crowder some last night. And Crowder's not the defender that these other three guys are. But that's what he's doing. And we've seen him do it time and time again. And Jay Kidd is absolutely right. You're going to need Jacob, you're going to need Jalen Brunson to come to the party and give you more points than what he gave you last night on fewer shots. What do you have? He had 13 points on 16 shots. That's not enough. Considering how well he played in the Utah series, he's going to have to be like that. Didn't really only gave you eight points last night. That's not enough. Cleaver kept it close in the first half, Skip, because he couldn't miss it from the three ball. But you're not going to be, at one point in time, like almost like three minutes left in the third quarter, the Suns were shooting 67% from the floor. They were shooting 48% from the three. Well, it's going to put you in a situation where it doesn't matter what Luka does. Because at some point in time, Luka's going to miss. But if they get layup, dunk, uh, uh, short mid-range, you're going to lose that game. So I'm not... All the Suns did was whole serve at home. They did what they were supposed to do. Um, but I do believe that once they go back to Dallas, Luka's going to be, you know, the crowd will get into it. Role players play better at home than they do on the road. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't think this is going to be a short series. I think it's going to be a very, very long series. As long as Luka gets someone to come to the party with him, as mm. J. Kidd says, just, just give him 20. Mm. Somebody, they, they're going to need that because if you look at what uh, uh, Phoenix did, 13, 11, 25, 23, 19, 17, Cameron Payne had nine. So they're going to get, they're going to be balanced up. It's going to be Luka 35, 40, but somebody else needs to give him 20, 25 mm. in order for this. But I still believe it's going to be a long series. I think it's going to be a, a seven-game series. And so that's where I am in that situation, mm. Skip. That's not where you should be because if you watch closely last night, I think you saw a mismatch. I think this series will be over in five. I'll give Dallas one game at home. Are it's you crazy? Be over in five. Luca is so legit that after I've watched what the Heat did to Trey Young and now to James Harden, they double, triple him. After I watched what the <laughs> Celtics did to KD, they double and triple him. They just played Luca straight up. They said, we are not afraid. You can have all you want. Just eat, 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 because the others will not get there. Exactly. So they don't double him at all. They just play him straight up. Yeah. And yet, when the roles get flipped, when Luca has to go to the other end and play defense, they attacked him like crazy last night. The stat by via ESPN Stats and Info. The Suns scored 24 points on 10 of 18 shooting when Doncic was the primary defender. Yeah. So they said, single him and attack him. Yes. Right? Yeah. And that was the recipe for a wipeout because I'm going to show you the play that made it a 21-point Suns lead in the early in the fourth quarter. Guess, guess who JaVale McGee picked <laughs> Baby Bird's pocket. Watch JaVale. Whoops. Thank you very much. I'll take that. And then JaVale said, no, I got this. I'm going to finish this. Boom. That was it. That gave him a 21-point lead. And Luca played the whole, all the way home, yep. all 12 minutes of the fourth quarter. Went five for five in the fourth quarter and made it, quote, unquote, respectable you saw, at the end. Skip, you, uh, how you going to argue with 45, 12, and 8? Because they were not threatened. Because Chris Paul took the night off last night. Look at Chris's numbers. He's like, oh, we got this. Thank you very much. I'll coast tonight. He goes 7 of 13 for 19 points. But look at his assist total. He had three assists. The man who led the league once again in assists had three last night because he was not needed. Yeah, no. Miss match. No, yeah, but, but Skip, the thing, and we, 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 I thought the Mavericks would struggle because Aiton is a better offensive player than Rudy Gobert. I'm not so sure he's not a better center than Rudy Gobert because Rudy only gives you one end of the court. DeAndre Aiton, although he's not the defender, he can defend, but he's double the times better on the offensive end. And so that's where you have, remember that game they had Rudy Gobert, they had uh, Luca guard Rudy Gobert. 
Well, DeAndre Ayton would average 40 points if, if Doncic tried to guard him on the other end. And so that's where they're running into the problems. They don't really have anybody that can do anything with D.A. At one point in time, Skip, he was 10 or 12 from the floor. Well, he finished, what, 12, 12 or 20? 20. Wow. Yes. Okay. And Book, Book didn't play particularly well last well, night. He, he, got a, he played okay, and he led them with eight assists. That'll work. But, right? Skip, I mean, they were 18 and 18. And eight. 18 and 18 from the free throw line. Okay. That's who they are. That's what they do. I have tried to discount the Phoenix Suns all year long, and all they did was wipe out the NBA. <laughs> yeah. They ran away with the NBA by eight games over the next best team, which was Memphis. Mm -hmm. they, they crushed the East in overall victories. They're the overall number one, number one for a reason. Yes. And they flexed last night. They had some issues with New Orleans because New Orleans is loaded with firepower. Right. And, and extremely well coached. Right. But here we go. Against Dallas, this feels mismatchy to me. This feels like a five-game series, and I cannot believe you're clinging to your seven-game prediction. Nah, Skip. I, I just think the thing is, Jalen Brunson has played too well. He's shown that he's a he, he's a really good player. I don't expect Dinwiddie to go three of eight and only score eight points. They, they'll get someone to come along, and that's all Luca needs. Cause Luca gonna get his. Luca gonna get his old, old baby I think bird. They wrote it on the board before the game. Let Luca eat. Because you heard what Chris Paul said after the game. They were talking about Luca. He's like, we won. And we still won. They, they won handily. <laughs> I know it looked closer at the end. They actually cut it to five with 10 seconds left. But right. It was never close. Right. Because it was 21 off that dunk I just All did. they have to do is, is, is Luca, just let Luca. You can't let Luca and somebody else eat. Because then they can beat you, Skip. But the, the Suns are so well balanced. I mean, like I said, they got seven guys. They got six guys in double figures and, and another guy that had nine. Well, okay. it's going to be tough to beat them so, and you let them shoot 50% from the floor. So you're predicting Dallas will win all three home games, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, going to, it's going at bare minimum six. At the bare minimum, it's going six. Okay, so you're saying it's a home court series where yes. it'll just go four games at home to three games at home, yeah. right? Yeah, it's going no. bare minimum six. You think it's going to go five games. Five. It's going at bare minimum five. six. Bare, Luke, Luke ain't going to let it go anything but that. Really? Yo, right. baby Murray, you uh. saw what he, Skip, he took uh, uh, PG and Kawhi. He took them seven. Yeah. Took them six. But they lost. Yeah. They lost. And PG and Kawhi, they went to Dallas and said, okay, we got this. And, and, and But Luka gave it. Luka got y'all. Mm. Y'all let the guy, and y'all, first of the first game, y'all cheap shot him in the bubble. Mm. You know Mars hurt his ankle on purpose because he was giving y'all that work. Mm. Well, he lost both those series. He finally won a series against a right. deeply troubled Utah team. I know a team that ain't want to see. I, when, hold on. When y'all going to do something? Uh, who's y'all? PG and Kawhi. Huh. And the Clippers. We keep talking about everybody else. When y'all gonna do something? Next year. Oh, my goodness. Skip, that's gonna be four years y'all together I, now. I <laughs> tweeted this the other day. If Kawhi comes back full strength, which I believe he will, th they're gonna win it all next year. Really? Yep, really. No, they're not. This has been a huge disappointment. Well, I just want you to know, they put together a super team, and it's been a huge disappointment in, in, in La La Land. Mm. I mean, we sit in the catbird seat because we got us a title. Mm. We got us a title. <laughs> got us. They go get another we one. We got to leave that LeBron's there, guys. That's a topic couch. for another day. I do mm. know this year, Chris Paul is playing like a man on a mission. He is. All right, up next, we got to get you two to weigh in on another series unfolding. Milwaukee and Boston. Can the Greek Freaks steal another road win from Jason Tatum mm -hmm. and the Celtics?